So today, as we're getting ready for Shabbos, Parshas Lech Lecha, we're standing on road 60 at the junction between the road leading from Beit El and road 60. We're right next to the caravan community of Givat Asaf. There are about 25 families living in caravans on the hill over here. And as you can see from the sign, Shechem is in that direction to the north, Yushalayim to the south on road 60. Road 60 also has the nickname Derech Ha'avot, at the beginning of this week's parish already, we see Avram Avinu enters Eretz Yisrael from the north. The first place that he's me that's mentioned in the Pesukim that Avram Avinu arrives at is Shechem. He builds a Mizbeach there. HaKadosh who gives him the bracha lezaracha eten et ha'aretz azot. And then Avram Avinu continues south on Route 60. Passing by on Route 60 after Shechem, we have Shiloh. And then Beit El is right here in this area. Avram Avinu arrives to an area between Beit El and Ai, which is exactly where we're standing. Beit El is five minutes from here on the west. The Ai is right here on the east. And Avram makes a Mizbeach here as well. And then continues south on 60 towards Yerushalayim. And continuing on 60 after Yerushalayim, you arrive in Hebron and then continuing down to the Negev. Uh, by the way, all of the roads in Israel that are north, south, are even numbers. All of the roads that travel east to west are odd numbers. In any case, Avram Avinu is arriving from Ur Kasdim. A difference of opinion amongst the Rishonim, whether Avram Avinu was born in Ur Kasdim, Machlokis Ramban and Avinezra, different opinions amongst academics. Where exactly Ur Kasdim is today? Is it Iraq, Syria, Turkey? In any case, Avram Avinu travels the route of the Fertile Crescent up to, uh, to the north of Eretz Israel, comes into Eretz Israel. Rav Moshe Shapiro once pointed out that both Avram Avinu, what we see in the Psukim, both Avram Avinu and Terach leave Ur Kasdim and are traveling to Eretz Israel. The difference between them is that Avram Avinu doesn't stop until he arrives at his destination. Bezat Hashem, we should be Zoche to be Talmidim and descendants in the sense of fully following the ways of Avram Avinu, continuing on the national level until we arrive at our destination of the base Amigdash rebuilt in Yerushalayim. Bezat Hashem, Bekar Yamenu. Have a wonderful Shabbos.